right now let's talk about where can we configure this right now the real deal begins so everything is available in the setup section now if you have taken a look at the salesforce setup page you have the quick find box on the extreme right and that panel is pretty much everything that you need to configure in salesforce as uh, whatever the platform offers right so let's take a look at where does this reside so i am on my developer edition org a free org i would encourage you to create your own a free one you can simply go to developer.salesforce.com slash sign up right that's the link that i believe gets you a free developer edition org for you to do some POCs, uh, do some hit and trials, practice anything from trailhead or all of that stuff. Okay, so this is my developer edition org, and I've just put this header here. What does this say? It says that everything is available in the setup section, and where can we configure it? Setup, quick find, process automation settings. So if I go to the setup icon here, the gear icon on the top right, let's click on setup, and here on the quick find box, I'll type in process automation settings right so if you notice earlier we used to use workflow actions and workflow rules down here which are now uh, something in the past same is with process builders this is also now something in the past and if you notice a new item that we want to explore now something that salesforce has but now we are looking into it is flows right so this is where you can configure flows if you this is part of the process automation settings and you can also just type in flows and you can directly land on this page okay Right, so this is where we can configure it. And when I click on the flows button here, this is the page that opens and it shows me the list of all the flows that I have created or are available in my org, right? So what Salesforce does is it gives you a set of flows by default they come as part of some managed install package or you might have some other install packages but whatever you create will be unmanaged and would have your name right so for example if you notice i have three flows which are active that are under my name and they have been last modified at this particular date so this is where you can look at all the flow definitions right meaning all the flows that exist in your org cool and this button right here enables you to create a new flow for yourself okay Cool. 